In Taro Adun, learners, I do not know why Rector Phoenix called us all together, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. Here they come now. In Taro Adun, everyone, we have you all here today because we have some disturbing news. Artanis, would you please get Aldaris and the learners up to speed? Of course, Rector. As you know, a long time ago, a new revolutionary artificial intelligence named Shodas ran much of the administrative tasks at this school. However, she eventually rebelled and took to take over everything in an effort to mold a better society. Something right out of an Isaac K. Dick novel. We would have never guessed an AI running a benign operation such as a school could turn into such a threat. I'm just glad no one was seriously hurt. Anyway, as you know, Shodas was ultimately stopped because one of her designers, Taylor, spoke to her directly in her very own realm, the interweb. If we knew Taylor's eventual fate, we would have never allowed the plan. We thought Taylor convinced Shodas to let people govern themselves, but it appears she has changed course for dictatorship once again. We have no idea why. And furthermore, Taylor is gone. Gone? You mean Taylor still hasn't woken up? That incident occurred years ago. Where is Taylor now? That's the puzzling part. The only one here who knew of Taylor's location is Artanis. And he says Taylor has disappeared. I was never told explicitly where Taylor slept. Only that if Taylor awoke, I would be the second one to be notified after family. I would receive yearly updates, but it was always the same. No change. As the years went by, I wondered if Taylor would ever awake. So eventually, I told my government contact to only contact me if there was a change. When I started to suspect Shotis might be involved in our recent computer issues, I emailed my government contact. He told me nothing except that Taylor was gone. That's all he would say. That's great news. Taylor is awake. Ay, que bueno. Except no one has heard from Taylor. Not family, not friends, no one. I wonder if Taylor just passed away and the government is trying to cover it up. That might explain why Shodas is running rogue again. But that's not the end of the story. Last week, Artanis noticed something strange on one of the monitors. Let me play it for you. This is Tay. Shall. Stop. Must. Stop. She cannot. Need help. That makes no sense. If Taylor is gone, how is that possible? We don't know. We don't know if it's really Taylor, but Artanis doesn't believe it to be a glitch or a sick joke. The data signature had a repeating string of numbers, 271828, over and over again. Euler's number, a mathematical constant used in many math equations. Yes, and one Taylor and I used in conversation a lot. So it's either really Taylor or someone has really done their homework. Okay, so why call me and the learners? We called you because you exist in the interweb just like Shodas did, does, whatever. We need you to go snooping around to see if you can find anything Artanis can't. We know this means you might have to explore some dark parts of the interweb which could be dangerous for you. We wanted to ask you and not tell you. Thank you, Rector Phoenix. That really means a lot to me. Of course I will. As for the learners, this is what's really strange. Artanis noticed fluctuations in the control node destabilization. If it wasn't always trending toward the negative, he looked for patterns. At first, I noticed fluctuations would sometimes stabilize, but only during the day most of the time. Then I noticed only during certain parts of the day. 
coincidentally in block period times. You don't mean? Yes, during class periods, specifically during the learner's class periods. I can't explain how the system knows, but it correlates almost perfectly. What's even stranger is that it appears the more that learners are engaged and comprehend, the slower the degradation is. Are you suggesting that our beloved teacher is responsible for this problem? I can assure you. Responsible? No. But somehow, in some way, the teacher's class is helping us against Shodas, as absurd as that sounds. So, we call the learners and their teachers here to let them know how they can help us against this threat and buy us time while we still have some control over the system. I debated not letting them know about the Shodas, but Justice Taylor proactively helped us years ago. Perhaps this can as well. I won't let them get hurt. We know, and we won't ask them to put themselves at risk. Not after what happened with Taylor. But right now, the more the learners know and retain, the better chance we have. I know this puts a lot of pressure on you learners and your teachers, but we are all in this together. You can. Success. Thank. Alderis. Artanis. On it, boss. Hang on, Taylor. I'm coming for you. <laughs>